What's up guys, Truman here, welcome back to another video. So I am back, finally, I am back. So hopefully this doesn't have that annoying buzzing sound. So it's currently no day 6. You thought I hadn't made it, but I did. And I hadn't posted any videos because I tell you, Nicotema Draw is the f***ing worst. It is the worst! It is harder than sugar. It is harder than alcohol. By the way, no sugar or booze in about a week. But nicotine, it's too hard. It's It was too hard until now since I've conquered it. And um, I, I I can tell you that the last few days have been pretty damn difficult, which is why I haven't actually been posting a video. And uh, what can I say? It's literally, I've just been in my room. I've been going to work, doing set specific tasks. I've not been giving myself any spare time in between what I'm doing. I plan out my whole day. I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this, 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 and this. And if I find myself with, with, with too much spare time, I'll do something really entertaining and mechanical, like trying to, trying to mod something, you know, trying to, trying to, you know, or trying to um, figure out how to do some new thing in Photoshop, just trying to keep my mind focused. But I tell you, I feel amazing compared to how I felt before. I feel a lot more chilled out. I feel a lot more just, just good and i think this is i've said it like three times now but the oxygen getting more oxygen in the system calms you down breaks that cycle of cycle of anxiety and then tensing up because you're not breathing and so you notice that so you tense up and it's really subtle and it's gone now so it's going now so i'm just the fact that i'm breathing a lot more but saying that there are still the old psychological things like for example it takes me ages to leave a room <laughs> and that's because, or not, not, or no, leave a house, or you know, or you know, leave to go home so, from somewhere. Because I'm always going through my stuff and thinking, I'm missing something. I'm missing something. I'm missing something. Something is weird. W w what have I forgotten? What have I forgotten? Oh yeah, that thing that used to be literally plastered to my hip. It would be in with me wherever I go, in every room, toilet, like bathroom, like everywhere. My old vape stick. Vape pen, vape thingy. My old thing, it's now gone. So, I, I, it's weird, I tell you. Just sort of getting used to the fact that I, you know, just, just the habit. It's almost like not having your phone. It's almost like, imagine if someone just, you know, so, just took your phone away from you. You'd be like, ah, oh, where's my phone? Some, you know, you know, something's weird. And I, I know that there are a lot of people who are like, oh, you know, phones are kids these days and their phones and stuff. But let's face it, it's, 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 part of our, it's part of our everyday existence now. Or maybe if you walk out and you sort of forget your keys, that's basically what I'm trying to say is that just getting over those old psychological things where you're just so used to having a vape with you that it's like, ah, um, just go, got everything I have and leave. But the cravings do start to come back. And I'll tell you after this what, what I think what one of the secrets for why I've been doing so well is. Uh, but the, the cravings have started to come back, and they're directly correlated with my other detox that I'm doing, which is for sugar. And now I should have a video on that coming up tomorrow. Basically, I'm on a juice fast day six or seven. And I think depending on what, where I am in the daily stage, I get cravings. So about an hour ago, I had a craving, but it lasted for like, it literally, it, it, it gets short and short. It lasted for like a minute or two. Whereas before, it would last for... When I first started, and I can tell you, like quitting vaping is far easier than quitting smoking. So if you are smoking and you want to start thinking of quitting, switch to vaping first. Because trying to quit smoking was fucking impossible. It was so hard because there's so much more chemicals and toxins coming out of your system. But quitting vaping, you've, you've only got to deal with the nicotine. You've just got to deal with the nicotine. And yeah, the nicotine is the, the big thing. But smoking has got all the other big things because... The key with smoking is that you smoke and it makes you feel sh like shit. And, and what well, one, the first hook is the nicotine. The second hook is all the crappy chemicals that are designed to make you feel like shit. So then what do you do? But because you don't associate that, you just think, oh, this is a cigarette. You think to yourself, oh, I now feel like shit. I know I'm going to have a cigarette. <laughs> Which makes you feel, do you see what I mean? It's a cycle. So if you want to quit smoking, I suggest starting to vape. Or, I mean, cold turkey. If you can go cold turkey, do it. Like, do it. Honestly, give it a try. Give it a try. Give it multiple tries. But if you can't and you're at the end of your rope like me, switch to vaping and then go from vaping to quitting. Because I tell you, if I, it, like, it's been smooth. The last, it's been smooth. The last few days have been smooth. There have been a few hiccups um, when it comes to just... De dealing with cravings and I, I, I attempted to reconstruct my, my vaporizer even though there was no juice and I started huffing burnt cotton like honestly like once or twice and it was horrible like it was horrible but it, that was my Jekyll and Hyde moment apart from that it's been um, like it's been smooth and I tell you uh, I honestly think a lot of it is because of this little device thing here that I have um, 
I bought this. This is an essential oil um, diffuser. And I know, yes, it's a very girly, womany thing, but I don't know why, but essential oils are amazing. They set my mood. They really perk me up. They, they can either help me concentrate or they can help me cool down for a sleep. And they just give my brain something to almost smell. And it sort of fills that gap where the nicotine would be. So so, so my senses are constantly being, are being, you know, in use so that I'm not thinking, oh, the air smells a bit bland today, I better light up, you know. So, I don't know. Um, the, my, my favorite is uh, frankincense and geranium, but I usually use like, I use like lemon and lime and peppermint in the morning. Then I use uh, lavender and rosemary in, in the mid-evening or before bed. But my two favorites are frankincense and geranium. This thing costs like a tanner. The essential oils are a different story depending on where you get them from, but... Like, because of it, I think it's been, like, diverting a lot of my, like, attention from one, from, away from where it could be to nicotine. Because my mind is very, very active, and I can multitask really, really easily. So, if I'm not totally engrossed in what I'm doing, I will think about stuff that I shouldn't be thinking about. Like, how long it's been, how great it would be to have another puff. So, that's really helpful. That. Anyway, that's what I'm going to say for today. Great benefits. Um, like I said, I feel a lot calmer. Um, I feel a lot more focused. I feel a lot less general anxieties around about all sorts of things. I have more energy. Um, and it's just refreshing to not have to be a uh, fiend every five minutes. I'm not, not going to do that. Um, <laughs> uh, fiend every, every, now it looks like it's snorting, like lighting up a crack. You know what I mean? It's great to not vape. Free man out. Peace.